This is a new drum machine that I'm working on for the Monom Arc. It has four voices, and I'm using kick, snare, hi-hat, and closed hi-hat. It's a MIDI instrument, so it's just generating MIDI notes, and I'm using the stock uh, 606 kit that's included with Ableton Live as a drum source, but you can use any drum samples that you want. Um, for normal drum machines, you have patterns, and normally you probably expect to program those patterns yourself. Uh, this drum machine will generate the patterns for you. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the density control. Uh, this is the closed hi-hat, and you'll note that the this is not random when I engage the density, like I can always move back to that pattern. Um, but I can go from like a very, very dense density, I guess, to a very sparse one. Um, but it's not actually triggering the notes until I start rotating it. So here you can see that when it's getting to the top of that pattern, or when it gets to the top of the, the arc here, then a note is triggered. The faster I spin it, the the more, well, the faster it's going to spin. And sometimes notes are triggered and sometimes not because two things have to happen when it triggers a note. It has to be in the vicinity of this 12 o'clock position, and then it also has to be around the same vicinity as a 16th note pulse. So everything is, so the actual output is quantized, um, but if we have like slower patterns, then pretty much every single time it hits, it's going to generate a, a trigger. But if it's happening pretty quickly, then it's only, you know, it's still limited by the 16th note pulses. So we can start to create interference patterns with the closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat. So I'll engage some density on the open hi-hat and maybe, you know, speed it up a little bit. Also, if you don't like the pattern that you have, um, it, you could just click the generate button and it's going to generate all sorts of different patterns from you, from you to start with and then you have the same kind of density control that you can engage and manipulate. So let's add some kick and snare as well. Not really crazy about um, where that snare is hitting. I mean, I could always engage more density, but I want to offset the phase of that snare. So I'm going to engage the phase control and kind of shift it back a little bit. Another thing that you can do is you can create recurring patterns. These, since these phasers are, are free running, um, it's an interesting drum pattern, which I like a lot, but um, maybe we want to have it you know, more in sync with the music, or at least every measure have it kind of start over. So I can engage this uh, phaser reset. And you'll see the LEDs jump, but that just means that the, the beginning of the measures happened and it's starting over from the beginning. The cool thing about all these features is that this is a drum machine that you can then play live by manipulating the phase rate and density of these parameters. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this. It's available for free download at my GitHub.